All right. How's everybody doing? Welcome. Oh, damn, that sounds loud as hell, huh? Yeah. I think. Hello, hello. Damn, that's like yeah, blinking really, red. Really loud. And test yours. That's like the story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that I don't have blink red. Well, I think my voice is just super loud. Right. Yeah, it is. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. that's better. There you go. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the Ink Therapy Podcast with Mr. Reyes and... Resilient. <laughs> so, on last week's episode, we um, we reacted to a video that uh, that I got tagged on. And it was about a girl who who got a tattoo that she didn't like. And she was trying to stand up for herself, but the artist ended up getting super pissed because she was trying to change a few things. She ended up with a bad tattoo, and then she tried to get it covered up and ended up with another bad tattoo. So she actually commented oh, on she the did? video, yeah, uh, like three hours ago. <laughs> no way! Yeah, and she said, Oh, M, G, 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 G. <laughs> <laughs> freaking out thank you for reacting totally hit the nail on the head with the reaction i wonder if she got it fixed i don't know thanks she didn't reach out <laughs> she probably, she's like thanks but no thanks <laughs> <laughs> well i hope he uh she now has like an idea of what to do with her cover-up you yeah. know because it was really bad <laughs> all right <laughs> stop yawning <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> me lo <vas> <laughs> if you yawned while I yawned, <laughs> comment below. <laughs> that's like if you didn't, you're a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's oh, yeah. what I heard. That's what I heard. Wasn't it? Didn't we see that? Or is it sociopath? I don't know. One so, of the two. One of those. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We still got to figure out what to call the, the guest. Oh, nobody commented about that, No, huh? nobody did. Nobody had an idea. <laughs> <laughs> nobody Please, had. Please, somebody. I guess we'll call it special guest for now until we figure out. Our special guest. I was, like special guest. It's just overused. That's why. Well, it's like right to the point. Special guest. Yeah. But if you have a different idea, <laughs> we're taking suggestions. Drop a comment. Ah, sick. All the way. I can't. These headphones are too big. Oh. Oh, you can just... Oh, just pull it. Oh, there you go. What is that? What is that supposed to be? A mouse? I don't know. <laughs> looks like a mouse. It's like a bear. A bear? A blue bear? It's not blue. But it's gray? Yeah. It's a gray bear. Oh, it's the reflection of the light on <laughs> sure. gray. We're going to jump into um, the segment uh, of the Tattoo Nightmare of the Week. Bow, 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 bow. You ready? Yes. <laughs> oh, so uh, this video, I saw the beginning of it. Okay, and you I watched it? And I stopped watching it. Okay, I were just, you tagged or did you I was tagged. It? Oh, okay. So I was tagged on this video and i saw the first three five seconds and oh. i exited out because on those three seconds i was like yeah i i know nothing's good is coming <laughs> after this three seconds oh my gosh okay and i was like i gotta stop watching it now because i want to be surprised when i watch it okay so this is the tattoo nightmare of the week here we go Honestly, it's not the worst. It is so fucking bad. It's not. It's just not at all what he asked for. I want. Bro, I want mountains. Why are you putting a second door? No, that is no. That is two doors. Why two doors? Why two doors? No, no, no. Do not go down anymore. Don't go down anymore. That's it, bro. Stand up. What the fuck get up, is that? Get up, just get up. <laughs> Yo. Clean paper towel. Soft paper towel. Soft paper towel. Soft paper towel. 
<laughs> Yo, use your fucking shirt. <laughs> it's off. It's off. No. I'm not even done. Meno is like extremely. Don't do this to me, bro. The kid is under three tattoos and you gave him one. Bro, I didn't finish it, please. Can I finish it? What are you gonna add to it? You added a second door for what reason? This video just like triggered me so much. Oh my god. What is going on? Oh my god. What, what did the comments say anything? Like what's what's happening? Is there any backstory? I don't know. I'm confused about the whole thing. Him wiping with his shirt. <gasps> No gloves. Nothing is wrapped. Oh my god! Just the ne just the, just the fingers touching his thigh while he's pulling a line. Oh. Okay. Is there any backstory? Because okay, okay, okay. I'm like okay. uh, dying here. There is no, not even a caption on it. No, no caption. They put the aftermath, just the tattoo. Uh -huh. He got two tattoos. <laughs> I was fine with it until this happened. It's deep. It's it looks really, good. It's not bad. His fingers are it's just... like oh full of ink. Blood. I mean, so unsanitary. It's everything so nasty. Just so nasty. <sighs> I if you, if anybody knows the context of this video, please let us know. I would love to know what the yeah. heck is going on. It's so crazy. I'm, uh, I'm shook. I'm shook. Speechless. Um, I mean, I wanted to find it funny, honestly, and some of you guys did, and that's okay. Yeah. You know, I was just, um, obviously, because I'm engaged to a tattoo artist. You know what? You know how important it is, you know, to be sterile, clean. Um, whether they're all bros and they're all having fun and stuff like that. Let's be a little clean about it, too, mm -hmm. because, you know, a lot of stuff can happen with blood. <laughs> yeah. When blood's involved. Um, but, yeah, I'm very curious. Mm -hmm. Very curious as to what's going on. The tattoo artist looks stressed. <laughs> yeah, and he looked. I'm not even done. Meno is like extremely. Don't do this to me, bro. And the dude getting ta the tattoo will look upset and disappointed. I'm confused as to why he didn't just get up. I know. Well, I got nothing else to say about this. I'm just I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm just speechless. I, I'm really curious if you guys really do know any information about mm -hmm. any contact of this video. Please let us know. I am super intrigued. Mm -hmm. I will, would love to know what the heck is going on. What happened? What led to this moment? <laughs> Let's close this segment. And I hope you guys enjoyed this week's tattoo nightmare. And if you guys let us know what you guys think on the comments. And what would you do if you were in that situation? Well, they don't even know what the situation <laughs> is. <laughs> what, is <laughs> what is the situation? That's uh, what I want to uh, know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have a special guest. Uh, his name is PK Chronicles. And he's going to be joining us on this podcast, which I am excited to have him. And I can't wait to talk to him. So today's special guest, his name is PK Chronicles. He does a lot of different uh, videos relating to tattoos. And the reason why I found out about him is because uh, he started making videos about, oh, you know, top 10 worst tattoos, top 10 best cover-ups, top 10, you mm. know. That's how you heard about him when he made a video of top 10 worst tattoos. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Were you on one of those lists? <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> His channel was basically is basically about tattoos. No, oh, okay. Until recently, uh, he started making uh different kind of videos like mm -hmm. uh five people raised by animals, pretty interesting. Uh, six five people people raised by animals. <laughs> Tarzan. But he also did a video on you. He <laughs> 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 just gonna jump right over that one. <laughs> All right, so a lot of you have been sending me DMs asking me to make a tattoo reaction video to Mr. Reyes and whether I think he's overrated or not. I, I because I follow him, I was already subscribed. Okay. I I opened my YouTube channel or I opened my my YouTube uh, page, 
and the first thing I see is a, a, a new upload from him and it's my face and I'm like what the hell <laughs> were you nervous that it was gonna be like a really bad video like um someone that was totally like trashing your name a little bit because because i think the title was like is he like is mr reyes underrated underrated and i was like oh no uh, it's mr reyes overrated overrated and i was like <laughs> ah. here's your Ooh, headphone. exciting i like djs here you go <laughs> If you were a DJ, what music would you be playing right now? I don't know. This was in my head. <laughs> Yo! Hey! Can you hear us? Yep. What's going on, guys? Oh, man. How you doing, man? Good, man. Good, good. Just getting some work done. So first question for you is, what made you... Uh, want to start your channel it's not really a new channel i just basically changed the name of the old one um mm -hmm. originally i started off doing more travel vlogs but then covid hit right in 2020 covid hit wow. i came back i was back with a really bad tattoo man i was just going crazy at the time i didn't know what i wanted to do like i didn't know what to do so i'm like you know what i've already started my youtube channel might as well just be fully transparent and show them like my little tattoo journey because if i regret a tattoo i'm sure there's like plenty of other people who do regret theirs right uh i realized it could actually benefit a lot of people and then from there i always knew i wanted to do youtube and slowly slowly it evolved into what it is today what's the piece that you got that you wanted to get um that was messed up a female portrait nobody specific not a girlfriend or anything um it just came out so bad in my opinion oh god i just hated it so much man i did like hours of research on what i could do what did you end up doing on the portrait? I ended up doing uh, one laser removal. And then I ended up uh, covering it with a snake, some uh, a cathedral rose, and um, cherry blossoms. Good stuff doing the podcast. I think it's something brand new in this sort of industry. So you guys are really uh, setting the pace here. I love it. Yeah, well, <laughs> most of the ideas right there. <laughs> just tell him let him know let him know <laughs> i love it i love it um charge by the hour if you're interested <laughs> <laughs> i'll give you some ideas <laughs> uh the podcast idea was actually uh it just it just happened recently about a month ago probably three weeks ago yeah where we went on a vacation we went on a vacation to california uh we were in california we were just having fun having breakfast and suddenly she just starts you know like telling me you know what would be a great idea to have a podcast and then i was like a podcast i was like okay tell me more so she started like talking to me about it and then i don't know where i was like let's do it then <laughs> let's get the equipment and let's get a podcast going. Right. And I feel like it's such an intimate thing for your audience as well. You know what I mean? They get to know you guys on a more personal level. And it just becomes a stronger bond, you know, with your audience and subscribers yeah. and whatnot. So kudos to you guys. You guys are good. <laughs> thank you. No, thank, thank you. you. I started following you right after that pandemic. And then two years later, or almost a year and a half, I opened up YouTube so I can watch some funny videos. And the first thing I see is my face on your channel. And I freaked out. I was like, I didn't know what to feel. I was like, right. is this bad? Is this good? <laughs> like, right, right. I was like, damn, this, this title is intense. <laughs> You're probably like wondering like a million different things. What's he going to say about me and whatnot? <laughs> no, um, yeah, initially, like, you know, I knew of your channel and the videos you do, right? You know, it would be nice to make a video on him, but uh, what do I talk about? Like for for these sorts of videos, you really need like a strong topic. Like what's the problem here? Is there a problem? That's that's what engages people. Right. And I'm like, yeah, there's there's no problem, really. But coincidentally, that week you let out a video Um, because when I searched your name and whatnot, I saw the video where you're like, you know, people are accusing me of like Photoshop and whatnot. So as soon as I saw that, I'm like, bingo, 
Like this is it. <laughs> this is what it is. Like uh, let's see the problem. Let's see what they're saying, and then what the verdict is, so to say. Right? It's just an opinion. I I think your tattoos are dope as hell. You know, like you're just doing such a great deed in general because you're in in a sense giving them a second chance, right? And I've been there myself, so I could really appreciate something like that. And uh, when I saw your work, I'm like, okay, done and done. You know what I mean? So <laughs> that <laughs> no, was really fun. So that much. was really fun. I didn't know you were gonna see it though. I'm like, okay, who knows? Like, I don't know if you watch as much YouTube and whatnot, but you deliver that information was perfect, and I was like, oh my god, very, that... very unbiased as well. Yes, mm -hmm. because he didn't know who you are. Mm -hmm. You came in from such a neutral place that it was something that people could relate to better. And I think that was the most important part of the video. Uh, we were looking through your channel and obviously you, you did make a post on your Instagram when you hit 100K, you know, which congratulations, I already commented thank you, thank on your you post. Thank you so much, thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I saw him thank post you. the plaque and I was like, oh, that's so dope. <laughs> He's been waiting for his tomorrow, plaque. Like Right, he's right. been waiting he's like looking outside every chance he's just like it's not here yet it's not here yet <laughs> what is it coming Oops. what is it coming <laughs> i'm just like it'll come relax and it ends up being most of my amazon purchases so that's i, like <laughs> I hate it. oh man I, we will get home and i see a huge package and i'm like that's mine that's <laughs> mine and i'm like i'll go get it don't worry about it and i'll go get the box and it's like Stephanie and I'm like, oh my god! We got a <laughs> Gotta get someone to bring in my boxes. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your post that you made on your Instagram, and I saw that you started saying that you know, even though you started doing, you started your channel based on tattoo uh, topics. Now you are pushing it to different topics. Now, are you still gonna keep making tattoo videos or just expanding it completely to different right, topics? Um, thank you, thank you for that. But um, yeah, um no more tattoo content so to say from like a client's perspective i think i've said what i needed to say and you know my main thing with that once i got my story out about like my tattoo nightmare so to say i was really at peace with it you know what i mean and i'm like i can finally like put this behind me that was a mistake that i did it's out there for people to see and hopefully not to and you know what just moving on and just enter the more entertainment side of YouTube, so to say. More like from an entertainment standpoint, like, you know, people who regretted their tattoos, so to say, or like uh, some people who took it too far, which, listen, I'm going to go out and say, to, to be honest with you, even though I make these videos, personally, I don't think people take it too far. I think it's their life, their choice. You guys do whatever you want. I'm just putting it in the perspective of like what the average person sees. Me personally, do whatever you want as long as you're happy. It's not hurting anyone else. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure people who who take it too far know what they have. And I think that's kind of like the surprise and the wow um, the perception wall factor, that yeah. they that they want. So I don't think anybody will take it in a negative aspect. They they know what they have. They know that they're like out of this world kind of thing. And it's, you know, it's really cool. You're not, I don't feel like you're in a way bashing them. I think it's, um, it's really cool that you're kind of putting a little spotlight on it mm -hmm. and just showing, you know, like how far people can go with art and with the tattoos or the piercings or with something that they really are into do you get nervous doing these changes um because you went from vlogging about like your travels to like tattooing and now you're doing these kind of videos and now you're going to change it again do you get nervous that you might lose some type of audience or is it just more like exciting of what is to come because i know it could go both either or it certainly does go both ways you know because you do lose so much audience when you go yeah. from one thing to another and youtube does not favor that at all right yeah they they push out content that's you know, structured around what you normally watch. So if I put out these yeah. types of videos and then I put out travel videos, they're not going to push it out to my audience. So mm -hmm. in that sense, it's very nerve wracking. But at the yeah. same time, I feel, you know, like, what do I have to lose? One and two, I think I could put out great content and capture newer people and even mm -hmm. keep the people who, you know, watch my stuff already, right? Yeah. So unfortunately, they don't want to watch it. That's unfortunate, but, you know, you just got to, no matter what, 
keep pushing forward keep pushing forward that's the energy right there yeah. <laughs> that's the energy because i feel like a lot of people get scared and they back down from the ideas and they're they're great ideas but because of that fear you know that doesn't come out and i think um there's very limited people that that can do that you know mm -hmm. the way you guys both do it is you know just kind of like fearless and you jump into it and i think that's the that's the key mm -hmm. to success you that know is. consistency too right like just because like you change it and then your first 10 videos, let's say, just start tanking and you're not getting yeah. the views you were, right? Just keep pushing, keep pushing. Eventually, something's going to hit and eventually yeah. it's going to take off for you. But the moment you give up, that's when you already lost, right? Hell yeah. Look at this podcast being a motivational oh, video. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps right now. Chicken skin. <laughs> Turkey pimples. <laughs> what? I'm getting motivated. I'm getting motivated. Okay, <laughs> okay turkey pimples. <laughs> oh, man. Well, no, it's super, super exciting. Super exciting to hear what you're doing and your new projects that are coming up. Either way, I'm still watching your videos because I find them super interesting, either about tattoos, either about storytelling, either anything that you put out. I feel like the way you put it together is super entertaining, which yeah. makes me want to keep watching. Anything that you want to say to the audience, anything that promote yourself, anything that you want them to know. Your shout out. Shout out. Uh, uh, keep, uh, keep... <laughs> no, first and foremost, thank you guys so much for having me. I really appreciate you guys. I love what you're doing. I know I said it a million times, but just keep killing it, man. I love it. Um, promoting myself, I'm not really into it. If you guys find my videos, you find my videos. If not, it's cool. It's PK Chronicles across the board. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm just so happy to, you know, get the opportunity to come on your podcast because you know I, I love the vibes you guys have going it's so friendly it's it's so um catchy you know it's infectious oh, thank, you. thank you infectious. i love it so thank you guys so much for having me i really appreciate it i want to say thank you so much to pk chronicles for joining us on today's podcast and sharing with us his future projects such a cool dude he really was <laughs> Because I always see his videos and uh -huh. his personality shows through his videos. But talking to him, it's like the same exact person. I'm guessing that's what people think when they meet you. Uh, <laughs> probably. Dang, you loud up front too. <laughs> that's what people be saying. <laughs> probably. Your voice octave doesn't change in person. <laughs> and and too, too energetic. I'm always moving. Yes. Oh my God. That's what my clients say. Yeah. It's like, oh, you know, you know how to keep a conversation going. <laughs> but they, you know what they do like? Yeah. My singing. No, no. Like I, sometimes I'd be. No, they do not. Sometimes I'd be like singing to, I don't know, like Alicia Keys. And they get hyped because they, they'd be like the whole team. They're like, bro, you sound almost like Alicia Keys. And I'm like, I know I'm about to quit tattooing. <laughs> so we are now gonna close this segment and we're gonna um now we're gonna answer some more emails uh we are gonna choose the next three uh inquiries and hopefully they book We are back and we are going to start answering a few emails. We are going to choose the next three inquiries and hopefully they book. And yeah, uh, if you guys are familiar with the podcast, we answer emails. We either approve or decline depending on the concept um, and whatever gets me excited and, and super pumped. And, and I'm just looking for that next concept that's going to allow me to get super creative and super motivated to, to execute the, the next project. And whoever gets declined, I'm so sorry. I appreciate your inquiry. Unfortunately, it is either the concept that I wasn't excited about. It is either not my style or maybe it was a bit too uh, simple for the type of projects that I'm currently doing. So with that, let's move on to those emails. Let's see who is first. All right. I'm excited. Let's see. I'm seeing a lot of um, emails that didn't go through the website. So just know that whichever email does not go through the website, we will not be opening. Yes. So just go through the website, Ray, uh, Mr. Reyes, Inc. 
com and fill out the form give me all the descriptions pictures all that all right so first email it is a cover-up uh true gray hint of color mm. uh it is a tribal cover-up chest and arm looking for a cover-up on greek ancient japanese or open to any ideas to make it a great cover-up open to do a full sleeve to help with the design oh my god that is dark mm -hmm. <laughs> decline <laughs> wah, wah, wah. i'm so sorry um there's a lot of gaps in between that tribal it is a little too dark to where the whole arm might look too dark and the shapes of whatever concept we put on your arm they're not going to be that bright because i would have to match those tones that the tribal currently have and try to bounce out of that so i would suggest laser definitely laser and try to get as light as possible so the ink can become weaker all right next one it is not a cover-up true gray uh it would be a half sleeve the tattoo Dedicated to son, interested in adult hand, passing crown to son's hand. Mm, I'm going to decline. Okay. I'm so sorry. All right. Next one is not a cover up. True gray. I want a Reyes style tattoo on my arm. I'm in the army 20 years and I'm uh, a family man. I'm from, I'm from Colombia. So whatever badass design he can come up with, I know I will 100,000 percent be happy with it doesn't look like it's your style Ooh. so i don't know if that's what he's wanting even though he said he didn't want it oh polynesian i'm gonna go ahead and decline i don't specialize in oh polynesian. he sent another oh. one i'm so sorry i'm gonna decline uh the second image was the a lion with a pocket watch and a rose um I've done a little too many pocket watches and roses in my career to where I'm pushing more of uh, the artistic. I don't know how to explain it. He wants to do things that you haven't seen before. Yes, there you go. Definitely, yeah, pu pushing pushing the limits of art, you know. Uh, but there's tons of artists that would put 100% in those concepts because they, they love doing those, those particular uh, themes of tattoos. So you will have no problem finding an artist that's going to give you 110%. All right, for the next one, it's a cover-up. It says, I actually have two cover-ups that I'd like to do. One on each leg. One leg, I'd like to do a skull with an octopus tentacle going through it. So it looks like it's getting pulled down into the depths of the ocean. Ooh. On the other leg, I'd like to do a, a phoenix on the rise. Oh. With its wings spread and its mouth opened with the furious look on its face. I'm also open to any suggestions and ideas. This is what you would be covering up. That sounds pretty interesting. Oh, this is the octopus one. Ooh. I am saying yes to this concept. All right. Thank you very much. First one. That was pretty good. Thanks. All right, next one is not a cover-up. Okay. I want a Viking ship in a storm with an octopus or Kraken wow. coming up to grab it on my shin, shin going down onto my foot. Sub oh. Subject matter, I'm for sure on, but open to different creative ways of going about it. I'm going to go ahead and decline. Okay. Uh, uh, I just feel like it's, I'm, not c I'm not connecting with this. Uh, Something about it. I'm not connecting with this concept. So this next one is a cover-up. Um, the overall idea of what I wanted is to is essentially there. It just wasn't the level of realism as I was expecting. And the artist who originally started the tattoo stopped replying to my me messages. Oof. Jeez. I've seen your work pop up every now and then. And your work definitely speaks for itself. Was hoping you could work your magic and take this tattoo idea to another level. The Oogie Boogie moon at the top was supposed to be his face turning to bats. The mountain and 
gravestones are pretty bland. What's the concept? I think he wants to to just fix it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and decline. Mm. All right. The next one is a cover-up as well. I'm hoping you will consider saving my arm. I got a ton of really bad line work, and I'm praying you will save it. I hope you like Attack on Titans. And the design I picked out, I'm actually from Prescott, Arizona, and I'd love to get tattooed by Mr. Reyes and maybe be on the YouTube, YouTube channel. <laughs> Thanks for considering. Oh, two pictures on it? Yeah. Oh, red ink. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and decline. Um, it's not connecting with it. <laughs> All right. So this this next one is not a cover up. I want to get a piece with the shadow of me and my grandparents holding my hand on each side of everyone. Always has a basic background. I want to give freedom to the artist to, go up, to come up with the background. They're old school Mexican and hate tattoos to, to make sure it's done by someone great so they'll like it. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm going to decline. Yeah, I mean, the concept is awesome. The meaning behind it is awesome. Um, it's just that, like... I don't think I can exceed on this tattoo as much as I want to. All right. So this next one is a cover up. Um, it's saying I want to cover all of the calf area with anything horror or Star Wars theme. Ooh, let's see. All right. This is what he has. Okay. Oh, it's like an outer, outer calf. Okay. I'll take it. Take it. I'll take it. All right. There goes two. Two. One more. I uh, I am in need of a full neck redo. Oh my god. I am too I am open to artistic ideas and your creativity is welcomed. As you can see in the photos, my neck is 92% jacked up. Tried a couple years ago to get to get it covered up with old flames uh -huh. with bricks with the same artist that jacked me up in the first place. Worst mistake. I didn't know what to look for in an artist before when I was younger. I'm older and realize what to look for, and it's you. Oh. I want the I want uh, an Egyptian theme mixed with galaxy ish. When you see the photos, I know you'll know exactly what to do. Oh my God! I'm All right, nervous. let's see. Let's I'm see nervous. if you know exactly what to do. I'm nervous. This is this is what it is. It's light. So far, so good. I'll take it. I'm saying yes to this crazy project. I've never done a neck, uh, such a super dope neck project. I'm always connecting it with other things. So this is this is my chance to extend it and make it crazy. Nice. Man, uh, thank you guys so much for sending so many inquiries. Uh, like I said, I think, I think uh, Marco said that we are behind uh, like close to 500 emails. <laughs> oh my goodness uh and like you guys like you guys are seeing we only go through no more than 10 emails a week you know um so we're gonna go ahead and uh get in contact with all these new inquiries hopefully they book if they don't then we're gonna we'll keep be adding them to the next the next round yes we're gonna on the next podcast we're gonna say if either they booked or they didn't unfortunately the people who ch we chose the last two weeks uh only one person booked mm -hmm. out of five probably so with that that concludes to today's uh podcast episode number four anything you want to add nope <laughs> it is what it is it is what it is we going we going through it. I need a nap. Yeah, we do need a nap. We, I'm probably not gonna nap. <laughs> you need a nap. I need a nap. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next week. Peace. Peace.